Hey guys, we're back on the Twitch stream here at San Diego Comic-Con for Skybound. I'm sitting with the cast and creator of The Tick, and I'm incredibly excited to talk to them for a little bit and play some, some Super Fight with them. Uh, real quick, I'd like to remind you that you can win your own Super Fight deck, which is the game we're playing right now. Uh, you can win your own core deck, which is the big one, at loveofgood.co. Uh, Love of Good is also a fundraising platform, so while you're there, you could donate. Uh, to the Comic Book Legal Defense Fund, which is a nonprofit that defends the uh, the first right, uh, First Amendment rights of the comic book creatives, because uh, Comic Con and this live stream would not be possible. You got someone calling you uh, <laughs> if it weren't for our uh, First Amendment rights. So they uh, they protect <laughs> uh, they protect comic book creators, and we love them for it. Uh, they also have a cool hat you could buy. So loveofgood.co, go there, get some Super Fight. Maybe get some new friends. It's, the possibilities are endless. I think the easiest way to do this is to go around the table, uh, introduce yourselves, introduce your role uh, you have in creating the tick, and then we'll talk for a little while about the show, and then we'll play the game. You want to start off? Uh, hi, I'm Valerie Curry, and I play Dot Everest. That all? We should keep going. I, I mean, know. I'm setting a precedent this right is now. Your it's a lot of you can take the rest of the All right, so about Dot. You. Um, <laughs> 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 uh, Dot is uh, is the sister of Arthur, and she is the the really the most capable person on the show. I mean, that's, yeah. that's all you need to know. And roller derby <laughs> extraordinaire. What's that? A roller derby extraordinaire. Roller derby extraordinaire. Uh, medical professional in various capacities. Um, she yeah, she's just I I don't know when the woman sleeps. Huh? I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Peter. Uh, Peter. Uh, Sorry. Peter. Fine. It's the cool. wow. I've first, screwed first up. word he says. To me. <laughs> 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 first ten seconds of every oh, wow. live stream that I've been a part of. So <laughs> um, uh, my name is uh, apparently Paul. <laughs> yeah, this guy. <laughs> my name is Peter Serafinovich, and I play the Tick. Awesome and very well, I might add. Oh, oh thanks. Very thank you. <laughs> not yeah, that my opinion my matters. Bucks, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. What you say now is completely not. <laughs> oh, I get. Oh, they know that. <laughs> now you guys know that. Go ahead. Uh, yes, I'm Ben Edlund. I created the Tick. Um, have been creating the Tick for about thirty years. Awesome. I seem to be obsessed. Continue to create it <laughs> on a daily basis. Uh, my name is Griffin Newman. I play Arthur Everest, brother to Dot and sidekick to the Tick. <laughs> And uh, my name is Jack O'Haley, and I play the Terror, who is hell bent on destroying the planet, mm -hmm. much like, um, well, our government. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Not to get political. <laughs> also, a big fan of ice cream. Yes. In the show. Ice cream. No, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Very important detail. <laughs> uh, so. Seeing, it, it was a new experience for me, seeing the Tick in a, a live action setting. I grew up, um, you know, in the 80s and 90s with the cartoon version, which uh -huh. I, I loved very much. So it was a, you know, it, it was an amazing experience to see it all come to life. It looks beautiful. It's, you know, a hilarious Great. script. Uh, what's the process like going from, you know, this really popular cartoon so many years ago to now this, uh, this series on Amazon? Uh, lengthy, lengthy process. Um, <laughs> uh, this was, it was a long development for this uh, show. It took about uh, three years of, once we sort of signed up with Amazon, three years of really working on how to make this concept work. It took a long time to kind of deconstruct what had already been done. This was a cartoon, it was a live action, short lived live action series, uh, like around the year 2000 with Patrick Warburton. Um, it, the cartoon, the old live action, and the comic book each represent a different sensibility. Someone said it well. Griffin said it well uh, earlier today. Uh, that like each iteration sort of reflects the superhero kind of climate of its time. Yeah. So this is the most, the the you know supercharged su like superhero climate in our experience. I mean, this is a very saturated culture for that. Um, this. So doing it in that um, context has been just uh, amazing. And I think because we're in such a mania for superheroes, Amazon stepped up, provided us with a lot of tools to make something kind of uh, like an unusual half hour comedic presentation of superhero stuff. This will yeah. be 
I don't think I'm answering any of the, even a remote <laughs> shred of the question you answered. That's okay. We've already asked. established that my questions aren't important anyway. Good. My answers <laughs> are going to match your level of importance. As long as someone gives me a cool answer to something, I think we're all right. All right. <laughs> standards here are my kind of standards. Let's proceed. We're keeping the bar well. Uh, what was it like to, to step into your role as Arthur? Uh, it still feels surreal to me. I, I was a very big fan of The Tick and its previous incarnations. Mm -hmm. Um, I was one of those people who was constantly refreshing the nerd sites, waiting for news. There were always <laughs> those rumors that maybe Ben would bring it back. Yeah. And, and then one day your name pops up. Well, yeah, it was like, like the confirmation <laughs> I got that there was going to be a new version of The Tick was a, a, an email hitting my inbox about the audition. And mm -hmm. I went, okay, so what? To play The Neighbor, The Delivery Guy? Yeah. Like, what yeah, on yeah, The Tick? Yeah, yeah. And I said, Arthur. And I went, oh, boy. Uh, you know, and then I read the script and I went, wow, this is great. And this is a lot on, on Arthur's shoulders, so there's no chance I'll get this. <laughs> and I just kept on uh, progressively not getting fired. I'm continuing <laughs> to not get fired on a weekly basis. But it's like the, the uh, sacrifice I've had to make as a fan is now that I'm on the show, I don't enjoy watching it. <laughs> <laughs> it really too well, I waited 17 years for a new tick and now I'm like, this right. Griffin kid's Who ruining is that it. that guy? <laughs> yeah, every time he's on screen, I start twitching. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, when you're on screen, you start twitching as well. So that's it's true. Perfect. Reflecting right. back. Yeah. It's like a mirror. You're just twitching back and forth. Sympathetic to yourself. Yeah, exactly. Um, now, you play the tick itself. What was that like? Oh. Uh. <laughs> it's hilarious. You're super strong. You're knocking guys halfway yeah, across the universe. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. It sounds fun, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, and yeah, it, 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 uh, it, it, yeah. I mean, look, who wouldn't want to do that? I mean, it's, it's, uh, I, you know, I. I, I <laughs> Sorry. Listen, it's yeah. my job. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm supposed to lead you into the easy question. Do you know, I'm kind of, I'm still getting used to, it's been a long uh, Comic-Con. Oh, yes. Oh, and, and, you know, being in this setting, it's, it's beautiful. It's like, it's like being in uh, Yoda's place, but he's, <laughs> he's had it completely remodeled, you know? <laughs> Um, Is half Yoda's place, half Good Morning America? <laughs> no, yes. <laughs> it's very nice. How was your experience? Chat so I mean... studio. I have had installed yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, experience is, no, it's amazing. <laughs> you just exemplified my whole experience. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly like being in Star Wars. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's a, it's, it's been a surprising place to find myself and to be uh, allowed to um, and encouraged to play uh, Dot the way that I have been. Um, and I think it's what makes the show really unique is sh she really represents sort of the, the grounding element in terms of the human stakes of the story. So um, I, I, I get to be really dramatic and, and, and vulnerable in a comedy, you know? Um, and sometimes that's funny in the context, um, which, is, which is great. But, uh, but it's, it's just wonderful. I mean, just, I don't know, I'm sitting at this table, look at these guys, I'm having a great time. Do you have this much fun on set? Is this how it is? Everybody? No, we just, no it's horrible. horrible. Time on set. <laughs> he makes everyone call him the tick. We all have like, he's very method. Sir tick. Sir tick. Sir tick. Also, all the bees. He's I hate manifesting the bees. it. <laughs> just a lot of bees. He has Why? a separate trailer just for his bees. <laughs> Why do you have bees, man? Yeah. <clears throat> and what's it like to, to step into the role of the tear? It's terrific. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ah. Man, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> and, and both terrorizing at the same time. Oh, oh. There's a, oh nice You button. know, there's a wonderful two and a half hour makeup session that starts right there. <laughs> that's, oh my that's God. the that's terrific. Right. It's like a massage, it's, really. Right? Right. <laughs> and it's followed by two hot pokers in my eye with contact lenses. But aside from that, oh. um, it's really, it's been a blast. I've, I've enjoyed, like, when, when Ben uh, called and and I read the pilot, I realized, you know, that this thing is hilarious, but it's clearly like Arthur's origin story. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, you know, it's, it's really got the qualities of, you know, a superhero movie, you know, like great uh, season arc, great characters, character growth, but it is just wonderfully ridiculous and hysterical at the same time. Yeah. And... Um, I like what you know Peter was saying earlier today that there's it's kind of refreshing in the sense that it kind of gets back to this you know he's a real pure 
superhero that doesn't have this dark past. <laughs> he's, he's just trying to figure out who he is. <laughs> yeah. But uh, playing the terrors is, 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 is it, it, it's fun. It's kind of like, you know, I, I occupy a pl place in the past that really is, I think is what's driving the, what's a lot of what's going on in, in the current time and in these, these flashbacks. Uh, you know, my character, you know, has clearly done something to Arthur that has just changed his entire life in such a way that it's become something very obsessive for him, th that experience. And uh, we come to learn that the, uh, that the villain in the, in the present time is uh, Miss Lint. Um, he, she was mentored by uh, the, 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 uh, the terror. So much of who she is and how she's behaving is because of the stuff that has happened so long ago. Right. And so it's really, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, it's fun playing the guy. I mean, he's, he's just m maniacal and he's, uh, you know, he's obsessed with, you know, creating diabolical plans that, you know, kill millions. And it's just, I mean, what's funner than that? I but, mean, but you, the way you make it, what you don't say is that you play him as a totally believable guy. Like, all the stuff you said is, like, cartoony and, and over the top, but, like, you're, you're such a good actor, right? And, 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 the, and it's so well written and, and that, like, you know, there are times when you see in, like, like there's a flashback in one of the early episodes where you, you, you almost feel sorry for the, you, for the guy, or you feel the, the love that this guy has <laughs> for, for Miss Lint and his mentorship, and you feel you empathize with him. And he is, he is the one who is, who is, is terrorizing our beloved main <laughs> character, <laughs> Arthur, you know, uh, who, who delighted in killing this little boy's father <laughs> in front of his eyes. And, and eating, eating his ice cream. cream. <laughs> James. Yeah. And like, James. Somebody <laughs> owes me a and, Coke. And, you know, so like, that you can do that. You can not only make that, like, uh, uh, fleshed out, like, a plausible character, and you can make us empathize with him and see the world from his point of view. I mean, <laughs> that's a testament to not only your acting, but, like, Ben's writing and the whole, the tone of the show is just like, it's, it's unique and like. Uh, and also the tightrope walk of the terror is simultaneously, to watch, very funny and very scary, you know? <laughs> I think you're genuinely very threatening and unnerving as a character, <laughs> but all the jokes really, I mean, they make you physically laugh. It's not just like, oh, I guess that's humorous, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's tough to activate both at the same time. Yeah. You know? Well, it's good awesome actor. To get, the, <laughs> <laughs> to get the inside cool, info buddy. from you and just to sit here and listen to you guys compliment each other is also Yes, very we're sweet. apparently <laughs> in a very good mood yeah. about each other. That's excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Caught everybody uh, I've got a couple That's of nice. grievances I want to air. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's air them <laughs> here. Place, you sure. know, just to balance things out. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's this game? What is um, this game? So it was my great honor to play this super fight game with you. Uh, right. I, I helped write it, so if there's any oh, cards oh, you're not vibing with, it's probably those. I mean, you totally can. I can take it. I've been insulted for most of my life, and I'm kind of used to it by this point. You this wrote counts. a game called Super Fight. <laughs> well, it helped, along with many <laughs> other people. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create our own superhero okay. out of one white card and one black card, the ones you have in your hand. Okay. Then I'm going to give you, uh, this. so this is a character card and an attribute card. Okay. So you can look through your hands, create your character, and then you're going to argue over who would win in a fight. Great. So it's a fun game where you just I win. I so won. Pick I am one from this pile, one from this pile. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, you can look at them. We can look at them. Uh, look we, now? We choose yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Yep. Uh, so, this one one card, so black was the attribute? Do you, do you just pick black one? Black is the attribute. White is the character. So one of each. Uh, oh, you can look at your hand. Oh, okay. Sure. What about it's the difference of colors? Does that mean anything? Uh, that's just from uh, the orange ones are from a different expansion. Oh, interesting. Of which there are many, many, many. Congratulations. Hey, thank you so much. I could take uh, full credit for every single one. My favorite expansion deck is the 90s. There's a bunch of 90s characters, and I had nothing to do with that one, unfortunately. <laughs> they would all be uh, Tears for Fears would be all the characters. <laughs> uh, so if we could throw down one white, one black, oh, and then we'll go around the table and see who would win in a fight based on arguments alone. Uh, do we want to start? How close are we? Are we fighting each other? Or We're are we fighting, fighting each other. Yeah, Royal Rumble style. All right, I'm going to go with it. I'm okay. going to say the Pope who has three pet dragons. <laughs> we got the Pope who has three pet dragons? Yeah. Interesting. 
I, I don't like know it. where you got that attribute. Like it's three pet dragons. Completely original and it started as four pet dragons, but then we <laughs> you know people wouldn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a little off. All right, who do we have over here? You uh, someone? No, not yet. <laughs> Should we skip you? Yes, please. Okay, let's <laughs> keep going, Ben. Um, so I'm a rodent of unusual size. Okay. His power level is over 9,000. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Wow. So good luck, everybody. What does that mean? It, well, it just seems like a high it power seems level. Awesome. <laughs> that does. It feels a little unfair. Be a Nine basis over. of math upon which to place my arguments. Well, let's say somebody else pulls a power level of 8,000. You'd be able to beat them, no problem. Yeah. I, I suggest <laughs> you look for the 8,000 I am uh, representing the Hulk. Uh -huh. I'm here on behalf of the Hulk. Sure. Was a power level of 9,001. Oh. <laughs> With cat like reflexes. Fast Ooh. Hulk! Yeah. And nimble yeah. and agile. Fast, nimble, uh, aloof, secretive Hulk. Yes. Well, Doesn't an like elegant when you Hulk. close the door in a room yes. if he's in it. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah. The champagne of Hulk. The champagne of Hulk. Can't hit that Hulk with a car. There's no way. No. 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 I, I think I got this. And I do agree that almost half the country would agree. Okay. Billionaire Playboy has a battleship. I think oh. that is a dangerous combination. You're right. <laughs> I want mine to fight yours. Yeah. <laughs> really. well, that's <laughs> yeah. Here, I'll just rip the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens next, for sure. So then, what happens? Do we, 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 <laughs> do we have, we have a character have yet? One left. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it is, um, wait a second. Wait a second. I think it's a blue Somebody's. Uh, yeah, sorry. It is um, mm? uh, a mad scientist okay. whose mustache, mustache can stretch and move at will. Perfect. Yes. I cannot picture a mad scientist without a stretchy uh, mustache. Yeah. So perfect. So this is all accurate in my head. Yeah. Um, that mustache Mazda. feeling. <laughs> <laughs> so who wins in a fight? Let's start over here. What do you have to offer? Did all you guys meet up in the middle of a metropolis? Is it some kind of a city? You've what got you a kind of danger boat everything? issue with just, the battleship. Just mash the button. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, <laughs> so you pull up right outside the city. Everybody else is meeting in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Oopsie daisy. All right. There you go. How do you guys defend yourself from that? Look, I really don't think there's a competition here. Because, <laughs> <laughs> look, no, you're all, like, you have your powers and things like that. But we're talking about, and I'm definitely basing this pope on, like, the current pope. Who's sure. doing some yeah. great progressive shit. He's, like... He's he's uh, he's a climate change advocate and all this. He's a woke pope. He's a, he's woke, a woke. He's pope. the woke pope. Not only does he have three pet dragons, but as the head of the church, he's got like everyone from Ireland, uh -huh. so many Italians. So yeah. Like uh, it's it. He's he's just he's got an army like a certain breaker of chains. Yeah. Yeah. That we know. Yeah. And he's got um, the Swiss Guard in the Vatican. He's I got think. yeah. I, he just he has more resources. This is a dope pope. It's a dope. <laughs> if we, it's also uh, if we had the, 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 the 90s cards, we could have said that. You know? He's also <laughs> like infallible. Yeah, that's a big like, one. He's nigh infallible. infallible. Nigh infallible. <laughs> so how does a rodent of unusual size, who happens to be unbelievably powerful, defend himself against My the feeling pope? is a rodent of unusual size is such an like, uh, open um, <laughs> description <laughs> that this is a rodent of truly unusual size. Uh, if this is a four-mile-long rodent, a power level over 9,000. 9, I don't know if a battleship can do anything. Possibly the Pope. Possibly three dragons. I don't know. I'm going Wait, with aren't, sides. I'm aren't there already like 8 million of those in New York? I have three dragons to fight one rodent. Who's how big are your dragons? Your yeah, dragons are rodent. of usual size. I assume <laughs> they're not. How, how big is your rodent? Because it's I'm going unusually to long. Wait, four miles, miles long. long. We don't even. Very we don't even. We don't even know if your Pope would would win against that that chick on Game of Thrones. Right, Kali Kali That's true. Well, yeah, nobody has. Sure. Yeah. Um, Three dragons <laughs> cancel themselves out. So how does a mad scientist compete against mostly animals at this point? Uh, so the mad scientist who has this mustache, mustache, <laughs> yeah, no, mustache, I can't, uh, must <laughs> ache. Uh, <laughs> his mustache can stretch and move at will. Uh, he defeats. All of these people by uh, you're turning into the tick here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. The logic is he awesome. He defeats all of these people and uh, vermin by uh, <laughs> distraction. Okay. Oh, that would be very, very distracting. So he diverts their attention and then what? Shadow puppets on a wall with a mustache. I mean, uh, I, I saw a guy earlier today who was like a he was a really big guy who's one of the controlling the the 
the, the transport, letting the vans into yes. one of the convention centers. He's like a really big guy, big beard, like tall, and he had like a, a huge black beard, with like dark hair, and he had all, uh, Salvador Dali mustache yeah. as well. I don't know, did you see him? No. Pretty cool. I, I find it pretty distracting. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Good on and you know else. what? It was so distracting, and it didn't move or stretch at will. This well, at, well at least for the amount of time that I was watching <laughs> it. To murder anyone or raise any cities. In fact, it might have moved and stretched at will, um, but I was so dis I, I was so distracted by it that I forgot that Anything it did that. Anything could have happened yeah. at that point. Well, yeah. So how do you defend yourself well, against the look, current situation? I ask a question to the table. <laughs> how do you beat someone you can't even catch? Right. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I got cat-like reflexes. Hulk has always had the brute strength. The problem is he's too big. Right. Huge target. Right. Which can't reflexes, move very though? fast. It could be just the hairball cough. All of them. Know. All of <laughs> the good <laughs> and the bad. Well, well, just tell me your attributes again. The I'm the Hulk, but I have cat-like reflexes, or that's why I'm so representing the him. Hulk could theme. I potentially like perform miracles and like ha like have the will of God on you my could side? Ask because like I, I think could, I could anything's possible. The yes. Time right. kind of continuing to freeze you in yeah. place. I mean, my argument is that that my Hulk would just rope a dope. You know, it would keep on leaping around, dodging the bullets until you run out of missiles. You your dragons are yeah. too tired, they need a nap. What about my army? Yeah. The army's what, fine. What, what, what army? What army of Italian. Everyone's talking uh, about their uh, hands. Come at you. They need naps too. <laughs> <laughs> my Hulk's just going to rope a dope and then all he needs is one clean punch. I like you know? That's the most physical I've seen you all day. It's <laughs> <laughs> the most physical I've been in my entire life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Finally, he gets a chance to describe the Hulk's rope a dope. <laughs> yeah, <this is> <laughs> Listen, many Body guys turns <laughs> on like a Roman candle. Rope a dope. Oh. Rope a dope. Oh. Yeah. 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 All right, so as the host, I feel obligated to, to judge this fight. Oh, so, wow. um, okay. okay, so I have a couple of I didn't know judgment was going to be involved. It's, yeah. That's why I leave it until the end so no okay, one can come at it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so starting from, from my left to right, uh, it bothers me that you're not even in the physical, but you're outside the city limits. Mm. Sure. So uh, you're not in the ring. Oh, all so right. So I'm going to disqualify you instantly. Uh, <laughs> I know, I know. You got to be in the water, but still, I got to see everyone visualize it. <laughs> I'm sending in troops from afar. All right. Uh, Actually, I'm I'm happy with that. Okay. <laughs> <You're out. laughs> oh, man, up, straight up, straight down. Uh, Hulk still has a pretty good chance. I find it hard <laughs> to believe an extremely powerful but regular rodent. Oh. Extremely yeah. powerful but large rodent can sure. easily be stepped on by an agile Hulk. So unfortunately, I think you're oh, out. What size do you think I am? Uh, several sizes over the size I'm picturing. Yeah. Oh. Okay. But it's like, what else I do you do? Very Fine large, large cheese. I think he could possibly pound a hole into my massive cranium. Yeah. And begin to work havoc in my brain. So See, I'm worried about that. How intelligent is this rodent? Yeah. Also, just, I'm just talking about, about the matter I'm using to control my nervous system. And, you know, like my also, uh, unusual size doesn't necessarily mean big. It's just a size Ooh. that's unusual. I went with big. <laughs> yeah. Really yeah. small or yeah. Or maybe like a <laughs> medium size that's, that's very that's really <laughs> right. actually right. terminated. That's at. an unusual size for <laughs> that a rodent. Is. Yeah. I mean, statistically, that's a very unusually sized rodent. So the several millimeters long and Flat rodent is but definitely power. Power nine thousand. I mean, I get that, but power nine thousand coming from this thing is basically that's an ant. Ant has power nine thousand. Power Ooh, nine thousand wow. yeah, coming from great, the, the, so. the um, Try splitting an atom sometime. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Unfor unfortunately, well, what? I have to start with unfortunately. It's number one on the call sheet. Know yeah. that before you say anything further. I get it, but also for me, the stakes are very low because I get fired after wrong. this. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. I didn't even factor in. <laughs> the point I screwed up uh, instantly, so you're in the lead right now. <laughs> what do we got over here? Uh, the Pope... Uh, don't, don't lie to compensate for keeping him in the game. I gotta Excuse do me. So <laughs> Excuse me. This is, Excuse you can't me. argue with it. <laughs> Uh, the whole did I mention my mad the scientist with the, with the mustache is female? Right? Okay. Oh. Okay. okay. So Italian sure. mad so, scientist. So she is, uh, uh, and you know, and I think. Uh, follow up, please, I beg you. <laughs> follow up? Yeah. yeah therefore. I, therefore, I, the level of distraction goes <laughs> way beyond True. what you, all you sexist. <laughs> have I have to say, if you. <laughs> deem that the, my mad scientist, uh, if she loses, then uh -huh. your judgment is as credible as the Hulk. <laughs> well, having 
already established <laughs> that my judgment is next, is next to nothing. The Incredible Hulk is actually. <laughs> I'm going to say you're basically like an incredibly smart person with a mustache. So, I mean, we got Hulk stomping on people. We have several dragons. And maybe you're waxing up your, your mustache. Possibly a rodent of unusual yeah. size riding <laughs> in the will fur be above his lip. really annoy you under your gloves. Also, good points over here. She will be uh, waxing her own mustache. <laughs> her mustache will be waxing itself. <laughs> right. well, to get, we should really work together to avert climate disaster. Do that? There do are that. no That's rules. what should happen. So you two are still in it, and now you're outnumbered well, two to one. You so you guys win. <laughs> well, there was like a team up, and they started to work on the environment, and cat-like reflexes Hulk got take it out. Isn't that what we what need? What was he doing? We need less. Now, I think, I think things totally are different now because now guy. my character would obviously grab um, the scientist. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you you whoa, broke your whoa, boat. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> uh, I put it, okay. Blow it up again. <laughs> You're just a swimming playboy now, basically. Can I buy the battleship off of him? Of course. You want to buy a destroyed battleship? <laughs> like, like Hulk, the Hulk the has battleship. disposable income. Good. Well, congratulations, you Bruce two. Banner I mean, I, I think like you won out of man. fear, mostly. <laughs> uh, the judge's fear. <laughs> but uh, great game, great battle. Thank you so much for talking to me about Thanks. the new series. I can't great. wait to see the rest of the episodes. Uh, tell everybody... Uh, where they can see it now, when the rest of the episodes come out, and where they can right. find you guys online. We can, uh, well, you can see the pilot now on Amazon Prime, um, an Amazon Prime video. You can see the first six episodes of our series uh, drops on August 25th uh, worldwide in 200 countries and territories. Awesome. Yeah, pretty six wild. Six including the pilot. Uh, six, including no. the pilot. By the way, so the first they, is, the current, is the current version of the pilot updated? I believe, yeah. yeah. I think Shiny we'll new the pilot. One. Shiny new pilot out there awesome. with some new scenes, new material. Um, some just, uh, it's a new thing to look at. So take a look and brush up on that. And uh, we'll be dropping more soon. And then in February, we'll drop the second half of the season. And that'll make 12 whole episodes. And then we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Awesome. Yeah. We'll wait. be picked up for 10 more seasons. Obviously. And, um, That's what we'll do, I guess. <laughs> Well, again, the show looks beautiful. It's hilarious. Uh, thank you guys so much for thank taking you. the time to join us. Thank you. Thanks so much. Man. Thank you. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's fun. Much. Thank you. All right. Thanks, man. Yeah, thanks. All right. Thanks,